All right, everybody, I'm gonna give a quick update. I got the truck back, and uh, it was in fact a starter. And if I can do this one-handed, starts up just fine every time. And uh, so I thought I brought, I meant to bring my camera bag so I could use the microphone set up on this, but we just got to work with the internal microphone on the uh, GoPro, which I know isn't too bad. Not too great either, but not too bad. So today's agenda is that. Wait, no, not that red one. That red one. The uh, S10. So I'm going to go bring the truck over here and uh, we will talk about it in a minute. All right, so today's agenda is pretty simple. Um, I need to get that crap out of here. And then I need to pull the seats out. And in the back here, I need to get all this stuff out of here. And then get that big subwoofer box out. Because uh, I need to... I need to pull the seats out. The seats have to come out so I can get the carpet out. And then what I'm going to do is once I have the carpet out, I'm also going to take as much of this crap out of the back too. Like I said, some of this stuff was here. Uh, this I don't recognize. These I do. And that monitor I do. And the tire I do. And then the two generators. But a lot of this stuff was not here when I took it to that other shop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to my body shop guy because he's going to take a look at this and uh, tell me what am I going to need to do or what do I need to have with me when I bring this to him. Um, these are going to go back in here, but when they're actually installed. So, anyway, let me get to work. All right, so I got the passenger seat out a while ago, actually. <laughs> and uh, I started to take the driver's seat out, and I realized I probably don't really need to right now. But this is the big problem right here. And, uh, like, that's the frame rail to the truck right there. So, I'm going to... I'm going to drive this to Wilmington, which is about a 20 minute drive from here, maybe 25, so he can take a look at it. I got a lot of stuff cleaned out here. I have a question for you though, and this will tell me whether you made it this far into the video or not. <laughs> it has this gateway monitor. It's a big old chunker. It's been sitting in the bed of the truck probably since 2018. Um, <laughs> So the question is, should I like, leave it in that trailer so it'll, it'll dry out and see if she'll run or see if she'll chooch? Um, right now, like I'm loaded up this trailer here with a whole bunch of crap. I'm going to be taking that to the local landfill. Um, my body's really starting to hurt right now. As many of you know, I got some really bad back problems. So bending down, doing all that is really not helping me. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get this cleaned up enough that I can drive it down there and have him take a look at it and then come back. Yeah, she's got tags on it. <laughs> I should be okay. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to try to clean up some of this right here, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I'm in the S10, I'm getting ready to uh, head on out to Wilmington, it's like a 30 minute drive, should be about, I'm not going to get any footage of me driving, because uh, for reasons I don't want to say on camera, i got to be careful and kind of blend in with the rest of society <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit 
All right, so I made it to Delaware just fine, no problems. Um, it is currently 1.52. I'm watching a Linus Tech Tips video. I got to the shop. He wasn't there. He'd say, he said that he would be there about 2.30. So that's where I used to work. <laughs> so I'm just kind of hanging out in the truck watching a Linus Tech Tips video. I'll probably go in, say hello to some of my older cup co-workers and uh that's pretty much it i just had ate a little bit of lunch i'm really not feeling well because it was mcdonald's which was right there dude over there detailed his uh suburban or tahoe whatever that thing is yeah it's a pretty nice day it's like 75 degrees out it feels a little warm because i think the humidity is a little high but uh all in all not too bad so um, I will talk to you guys when I have some updates. On the way back from the uh, from the uh, body shop, I'm going to be dropping this off on Wednesday, but I'll talk about that more later. And we're doing 30 miles an hour in the 55 zone. No real reason why that I know of. But, hey, at least we're moving. I'm on 95 in basically around Chester, PA. But I'm going to put this down. So today is what Saturday? Yeah, today's Saturday. So on Wednesday, he said Wednesday or Thursday, he'll call me to let me know which day we will be. I will be driving this over there again. This time to be repaired. So what we're gonna do is do the floor. The rocker panel, um, I don't know if I can get it at quite the angle. Let me try. You should be able to see all that rust, I hope. So that's going to get welded in. And then we decided that while it's already there, I'm going to get the cab corner stuff for this side, as well as the rocker panel for this side. And it's gonna all get put in it'll be uh, pretty nice actually it'll be a lot more comfortable because <laughs> let me tell you I put about 40 miles on this truck today and uh, <laughs> I'm literally put my foot on the frame rail of the truck to hold my foot on the brake it was a little sketchy but I tell you what man I love driving that truck I <laughs> I can't really explain it if you've never driven an old square body Chevy truck. I don't know if you can even understand. I want to look for... Um, well, either way, it'll be up here, so I'll be able to get it. But, um, yeah, all my stereo stuff is... I don't know if I'm going to yell this. All my stereo stuff is locked in there. But, uh, yeah. I think that's gonna be it for the video. I know it wasn't an exciting video, but uh, I just wanna give some progress on it. Thanks for watching, have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. One more.
more real quick thing. I love driving the S10, but you know, Silverado is just bigger. You got a lot more room in it. But the most important thing is my foot is not on the frame rail of the truck to be on the uh, to be on the uh, brake pedal. But all in all, I can't wait until I'm actually able to drive that truck again. You know, more than just a little bit that I did because it is just a blast. I mean, even though it's slow, it's noisy, it's loud, it's smelly. The uh, it's just it's an old truck and it just drives like an old truck. Like when I when I drive over this uh, storm grate, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like you don't feel that in this truck. When you you feel everything in the road in the S10, like you're in, it's like you and the machine are one. I know that sounds cliche to say, but that's just how it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.